it's my responsibility to uh, verify the theft or the Yes, but it's my So I have to drive a truck with good tires. So if I find if I find that my tires are broken or are without uh, what is the name no uh, for okay. that one? That the uh, tire tread. There. Yeah. Uh, uh huh. If it if it doesn't have at least four thirty seconds, if it's smooth like this on top. Then you would let your dispatcher know before you drive the truck that okay. the tires they need to put some tires on. Okay. You always would let uh, your uh, where we fill out the the uh, DVR on the back of the uh, log sheet mm -hmm. um, and, and a maintenance report with uh, your people that you work for and let them know so they can fix it for you. Okay. Start driving. Okay. Then you would open the door and uh, make sure your rubber seal is secure around the door. Mm -hmm. Then it opens and shuts good. Um, also, your fire extinguisher is right here. I'm going to go ahead and mention my emergency equipment. Mm -hmm. I've got three reflective triangles. I've got a, a fire extinguisher. And if this truck fuses required uh, fuses, I would have fuses for it also. What? Dennis, what is this stuff? That's, I know that I know what it's for. Uh -huh. When we was out here the other day, do you remember that that thing we was looking for that we couldn't find? I can't find it on here. There was something when me, Rudy, Anthony, Gavin on Saturday we came out here, and it, it was something start. When safe we, start. Safe start. Is that what that is? Um, we'll do the safe start when we get inside. The okay. Truck. I'll tell you about well, it. I, we just this didn't know what it was. Just to plug it up and say, and yeah. No weather, you know. Yeah, I knew what it, I knew okay. what it was. I it's not know what it was. Um, I'm going to check my fuel tank, make sure that my straps are secure, that my lead, uh, lead is not leaking, that my steps are mounted securely to the uh, fuel tank, they're not loose, and also I'm looking underneath it for any leaks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move on back to my battery box. I'm just more or less making sure my battery box is mounted securely to the frame. You're not required to take it off and check your water in the batteries. You're just required to make sure that this cover is not loose and it's not going to fall off. Okay. As I come back here, this is the place I'm going to be checking my uh, frame. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at my frame, make sure there's not any cuts and breaks in it. Um, this, if it was going to have a, a bad place in the frame, this would probably be the location that it would show up because the tractor and trailer is twisting and turning the whole time as you're driving. So you want to look in that area here. There's three things that you want to go ahead and mention while you're uh, doing your frame. Is uh, your drive shaft, that it's uh, uh, securely mounted, doesn't look like it's um, loose or, little, uh, or getting ready to break. Um, also, I'm going to check my catwalk right here, this little uh, piece of metal that's mounted to the frame that it's secure. And I'm gonna look at the back side of my muffler and exhaust while I've got a good opportunity from this uh, location right here to look at it. So sure put all of those in, in one group. You, okay. You've got your frame, your drive shaft, your uh, muffler, and then you've got your uh, catwalk. You wanna check your glad hands and electrical line as they come out of the back of the tractor. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna say, your glad hands and electrical line as that hooks into the trailer. trailer. So you're going to be saying that two times. Okay. So make sure you check them from the back of the tractor and when they hook up up here, that they hook up Teacher, Do I have to check the seals or uh, not? You wouldn't be required to. You, you would, uh, not physically, you would just say that you would make sure that the seals are good, mm -hmm. but you're not going to have to take them apart. Okay, we want to check our corner panel. Um, this is your little corner panel here. Mm -hmm. um, panel. Sometimes they may say, uh, 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 I don't think it says uh, uh, mud flat, flat but. but uh, uh, I just seen that. <laughs> I, uh, I'm trying to remember, I just got through seeing it. Mud flat. Uh, what do they call? I know what they call. Oh, sorry. 
This is called your corner panel. Uh, you got a mud flap. Let's see. Let's see your paper just a second. And, uh, Sorry, I marked all over see. the that's stuff fine. I needed. Right that's now. what you uh, got it for. And uh, I was just going to say what it says on here. It says, oh, it's called, it calls it a splash guard. Splash guard. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you can call that your flat splash guard. Uh, Oh, okay. flat, corner panel, as long as you mention those. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mention um, the suspension system. I'm going to look and see uh, what this uh, tractor has, or this trailer has. And this has got uh, leaf springs, just like we had on the front. I would check my leaf springs, that they're not broke or missing. Mm -hmm. And uh, that my U-bolt is secure, that uh, they're mounted securely. My spring hanger on each side of the spring is secure. Mm -hmm. And also, this round rod right here on the bottom. Torque bar. Right there on the bottom right here. That's called a torque, bar, torque arm. That's the one we was talking about. And that's know. what lines the uh, tractor rut uh, to make it run straight. Torque mm -hmm. right Okay. You want to mention that. Uh, you're going to mention your brakes again, exactly the same way as I did on the front axle. Mm -hmm. Brake line, brake chamber, uh, slack adjuster, and uh, brake uh, drum and pads or shoes. You do the tires the same way. The uh, tire tread depth on these tires are 230 seconds. I check my axle uh, or my rim, mm -hmm. make sure there's no any cuts or uh, welded places. Also, I'm going to look at my lug nuts, mm -hmm. make sure that there's none missing or loose, and my axle seal. This is uh, really called a axle seal, and the one on the front's a hub 